Hi everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. And we have our six cards are right here. I just shuffled the cards, pulled them out. You are gonna look. Do you like this card? Number one, two, three, four, five, or six. What is the point of me doing this every week? Well, I'm going to show you the storyline that all of us are working with this week. So it's a collective energy that we have to focus on in order for us to stay in alignment with our highest good. That is the point of doing this. So what does the universe have to tell us all using the cards to speak to us all about that? So the anchor card is kind of the main theme for the week and let's take it. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. It is blessed. So this week is a blessed week. Now, does that feel right to you? And if it doesn't feel right to you, you have to fake it till you make it basically because blessed is a sense of greatest gratitude for absolutely everything that you have and don't have in your life. And it's really asking you to see everything as blessed right now. Even the stuff or the conditions in front of you that you feel make you uncertain or scared. So this is an attitude. This is really an attitude and it's a trust. It's an action. It's a faith in something greater than you that has a blessing or a silver lining hidden in all this stuff we're dealing with, okay? Now let's find out what the second card says about that card. Yay! Oh, I keep getting this card. <laughs> Between worlds, which makes total sense because who is exactly where they want to be right now? Not everyone, that's for sure. So Between Worlds is all about being in a position of transition, not being where you came from. And we know that is true for every single person watching this video and people who are not. And also you're not where you want to be yet or who you want to become or basically anywhere. You're in this no man's land or tunnel where you have to get comfortable with yourself there. Not an easy thing to do, but it is the richest time of creativity when you can get the hang of being between worlds. Now let's choose the next one. Aha. So card number three is Yang. So that tells us a little bit more. So it does tell us that this is an action we have to take is to get comfortable in the unknown, to really be in uncharted waters and kind of like get, get with the territory. I mean, this is, this is a constantly changing world, but it's also a little bit restricted for all of us right now. So the Yang card is also about keeping our energy up. Right, It's not allowing ourselves to atrophy or get apathetic or anything like that. It's a very positive, upwardly you know, energetic card. It's also telling us to jump up and down in our homes if we're stuck in them <laughs> because it's also about physical activity and it's definitely a move ahead card. So we are seeing that there is movement and this is this too shall pass. This is something you have to remember because it relates to between worlds, okay? You want to subscribe to my channel, I just know it. <laughs> Slap that thing. Get subscribed to my channel. The bell's coming up. You'll get notifications. It's, it's always so much fun. So anyway, yeah, you want to share this with your friends. I know you do. Why? Because this is cool. That's why. <laughs> and you will get this in your inbox once a week. I promise two videos a week because I do an Astro Oracle tomorrow. And the, oh, this is beautiful. So new life is assured. New life is the next card. So we started with blessed. We are blessed to be in this in-between time of reconstruction and revisiting our dreams and desires and reinventing ourselves, etc., and having the energy to do that and settling into the energy. And then this is assurance, like new life is assured if we pay attention to this this week, something really positive is going to be born from this. And it'll be, it'll be shorter term than what we're expecting. We're going to start to see things. And I love that Yin is here next because it's about reception, being consciously receptive, being curious, allowing. It's about the art of allowing, allowing the universe to show us all these changes and the positive ones that blessed started with at the top of the reading. Now, the last card, beautiful, it's community. So even if you are um, disconnected physically, this is such a key piece is community. 
It's like why I have a membership site, for example, and I have all these places we could get together and I do my 11-11 morning, woo, you know? So the community is key here this week. Reach out to others, get on Zoom, get on Facebook uh, Lives or get on your, what do you call it? FaceTime, sorry. <laughs> whatever it is, you gotta pick up the phone, pick up the computer, do whatever so you can reach out and say, hey, and really form that community and bonds with people you care about and new people too that you can serve. All in all, this is a really beautiful, energetically pretty clean week and is calling all of us to get comfortable in that in-between world because in there is a big, big blessing that we will for sure discover. Alrighty, I'm gonna see you next week.